Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Python. Now in this video, we'll talk about a topic which is my favorite called as recursion. Now what is recursion? So generally when you talk about recursion, it means you are calling a function from itself. Okay, so you're calling a function from a same function. Now what I mean by that is, let's say, so let's say we have a function here and I will call that function as greet, okay? A simple function called as greet and this function does nothing but it prints only hello, that's it. So we are printing hello, nothing else, hello, right? And I want to call this function, right? So of course we have to go out and say greet. Okay, so if I run this code, of course the output will be greet, right? So if I run this code, you can see oh, the output would be hello, that's perfect. Yeah, so let's say I want to print this hello multiple times, a lot of times. So what you can do is, of course we can use for loop, right? But there's one more way. What if you call a function again? So what you're doing is, you are calling greet once, okay? So at this point, you're calling a greet function. Then this greet function is getting executed and this greet function again is calling the greet function. I mean, it prints hello and then it is calling itself. That is recursion. So what do you think? How many times it will get called? Is it one, two times? Because if once we are executing it, that's for sure. But only two times or three times or 10 times or 100 times or infinite times. Okay, technically it should be infinite times, right? Because you're calling itself. So a function is calling itself. So greet is calling greet, greet is again calling greet, greet is again calling greet. So it will just go on. And that's where if you run this code, you will get a lot of hellos, right? Uh, you can see we got all hellos. If I scroll up, you can see that you can see the scroll bar there if it is visible. Uh, so there's so many values here, and at the end it will give you an error. See, technically it should be infinite, but then there's a limitation, right? See why we have to put a limit here? Because by default, you can do this recursion only for a thousand times, okay? Uh, that's a limit. So you can see it says maximum recursion depth exceeded. So, it, so by default, the limit is thousand. You cannot go beyond that. Of course, you can by doing some customization, but time in it will go to thousand but you will think why thousand if you want to go beyond that or if you want to go for the infinite why not the problem is see sometimes as a programmer you write a code and your intention is not to go into recursion but by some you know due to some mistake you are going into recursion and if your code goes into recursion without condition and if it is going infinite time your system your software will hang okay so python takes care of that so python says hey i will give you only thousand if you want to change it you can do that so I want to actually count, okay, how many times it's going. You can see it says there should be some number here. Okay, there's, there's no number. Oh, there's, there's a number here. It says previous line ex, uh, ex repeated 992 more times. Okay, so basically it is 1000 limit. In fact, we can actually print, okay, what the limit is. So the way you can get the limit is first of all, you have to import sys if you really want to know the limit of recursion. And the function is, okay, so we'll print. So we'll say sys dot. There's a method called as get recursion limit. Okay, so you can see that. The moment I say sys dot get recursion limit it will give you the limit here and i will not call greet at this point remove that and if i run this code you can see the limit is thousand okay so that i'm not executing this function a uh, greet okay so i'm not calling greet so it will not getting executed so the limit is thousand okay we got that how do i increase the limit so the way you do that is by saying sys dot set recursion limit and you can provide any number here okay okay now when i say any number i tried with 2000 it worked uh, maybe you can try a different number let me know in the comment section if it is not working for big numbers and now if i run this code you can see the limit has changed to 2000 which means if i if i call greet it will print hello to at least 2000 times if i run this code uh, you can see it says oh okay how do i know how many times it's getting printed so what I will do is I will take a counter here and I will say counter is zero. Initially the counter will be zero. And before printing hello, I just want to increment the counter. So let's also print the value. And now let's run this code to see at till what point it is going. Oh, the problem is, okay, there's one problem. Uh, see, i is a global variable, right? And we are trying to use that variable inside the function. So in that case, you have to use a global keyword. If you remember, we have talked about global before. So I will say global i. Now you can access i inside the function as well. Let's run this. And okay, we got another error. It says, oh, I'm using plus. That's my bad, okay? So I'm, since I'm coming from Java background, so we have this habit of using plus there. Uh, so if I run this code, you can see we got it. And the last value for i is 91996 but it is going so the limit is 2000 it is stopping at 1996 so that's awesome right so this is how you do recursion you can call itself 
But does it make any sense? Think about this, you know, you are doing it for fun here and that perfectly makes sense. So when you work on a project, do we really use recursion? And the answer is yes. Okay, so a lot of projects we do use recursion because recursion gives you something which you can do without recursion, but then it makes much more sense to use recursion there. In fact, in the next example, we'll be doing factorial with recursion and that will be fun. Okay, uh, I will try to do something amazing so that you will understand how to do factorial using recursion. So I hope this makes sense. So recursion basically means a function calling itself okay that's what that's what we have done here so that's it from this video i hope you are enjoying this series let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos bye bye